For a seat with two names, there was double the anticipation. And for a moment, both candidates believed they may have been on the brink of victory. We don't have a result. And it would be really nice to say that we did tonight, but, but we don't. By daylight, though, there'd be only one. I'm very pleased and honoured um, to be the next member for Eden Monero. <laughs> After a five-week campaign, Labor's Christy McBain is on her way from Bega to Canberra. It was always going to be a tight race in Eden Monero. It always is. It's a marginal seat. As I said, we had swings in some of the areas that I'm from. Um, but it's going to require hard work. A long and late night of counting produced a status quo uh, result. That's basically the same result as the last election. Labor held on to the seat, but only because of favourable preference flows from the Greens, Shooters, Fishers and Farmers and the Nationals. Worryingly, its primary vote fell by at least 2%. It was an against the odds victory. It's a bit of an ugly win for us, uh, I can see, but it's a win just the same. A crucial one for Anthony Albanese, who'd personally picked the candidate and threw everything at the seat to defend it. What about Anthony Albanese? Uh, is he now guaranteed to lead Labor into the next election? Absolutely, and that was never in doubt. The result has simultaneously helped shore up Anthony Albanese's leadership while giving Scott Morrison a shot in the arm, having withstood the usual swing against a government in a by-election. The Liberals were unlikely to win. A hundred years of history would have to have been smashed for the result to go their way. But just as Labor prepares to welcome a new member into Parliament, the Prime Minister's farewelling one of his own. I've given this job my everything. I mean, I've left nothing thing on the field. Right. After seven years as finance minister, 13 in the Senate, I'll be back. <laughs> Matthias Cormann's calling it quits. A critical and constant figure in the coalition, though his reputation was tarnished by his role in the takedown of Malcolm Turnbull. I will uh, leave politics at peace with the knowledge that I've always sought to make the right decisions for the right reasons in the right way. He'll stay in the job until the October budget's printed and delivered. It's um, been uh, an incredible journey. Before heading back west for a final time. Jane Norman, ABC News.